Hello, and welcome back to the Midnight Moose channel. Here's some more Darkest Dungeon 2. Uh, we're doing a new uh, mission, right? We're going to Chapter 3. I don't know what it's called. But, achievement unlocked just for logging in, I guess. Thanks. I... Okay, Epic. Chill, chill it down now, please. Thanks. Okay, apparently we're just unlocking stuff or rolling through the darkness. I don't know. You tell me. Alright, what's Chapter 3 called? Assuming it unlocks after Chapter 2. I know it's a wild concept. Obsession. Your sanctum. Drift in this bituminous nightmare. Gotta love that bituminous nightmare, in my opinion. Alright, let's roll forward. I don't know anything about this chapter. I assume there's a... There's a boss? Uh... Who knows where from? The manor? Opulent and imperial? Feasted beneath the banner of the Iron Crown, questioned exhaustively by an eager cabal of masked delegates. Mm -hmm. The crossroads. All right. Where lost souls hope to find their way. Who should we run with today? Maybe we hit random. We have all the heroes unlocked. What's this? Oh, we unlocked a path for you. Oh yeah, we don't know what that actually does because most of them have numbers and something, but you are just. Uh, Affected, whatever that means. Let's see, what would this give us? That team looks awful. Manu Propria. Let's see, you'd be focusing on shooting, you'd be focusing on throwing knives, the runaway I haven't played too much with, and a frontline plague doctor. I haven't done much of that either. Let me think about this, and maybe we'll use it. Let me think. Okay, I think this is what we're going to roll with. I changed it up a little bit, as you can see. But this guy's going to be shooting people. I added the occultist. He's going to be occultizing people and probably marking some foes. We haven't played with the runaway recently, so we'll try her out. She's in the second position, so I took away uh, some other stuff that might move her otherwise. And the Helion, just to have a tanky character in front, and she does good damage. we got to unlock her skills. Still, she doesn't have a path. Oh, I lied. She has the Ravager, which is more damage and more health, but she might bleed herself. It happens. She doesn't have a path. This guy's a warlock, so he deals more ranged damage. Or we could do this. Mm, I don't know. And you're a sharp shot because you'll be using range. So, let's see how it pans out. Uh, I don't know. At the very least, we earned two candles to make an effort the first in. And it's two more candles than I had yesterday. I guess. Alright. You are not alone. All right. You can feel it. A change in the air. What's that chill? I can't feel it. These guys can feel it. Nobody wants to tell me what's going on. You see, even your valley is not immune to the spreading stain. Okay. I mean, it looks pretty much the same as normal. I'm not trying to. Anyway, let's try and take this lady out. Six damage is almost half her life, so I'm really happy with that. We can Wicked Hack one of the front two, or Yawp the front two, of course. Let's see here. I mean, we're not going to kill him, but combined we could. Let's see if the Occultist can help out. How much armor do you have, pal? Lots of it. That's fine. Uh, we can Abyssal Artillery the Widow, but we wouldn't kill her. Yeah, we actually might. Um, and everything else is kind of debuffing, and this does a little bit of damage. I'm more interested in killing her first. But that didn't happen. Can the runaway attack third slot from where she is? Possibly. Not here. That's not a that's not an attack. That's technically not an attack. And Yes. That's the good news. Alright, but she goes forward one, and I'm okay with that. Okay. I feel like we're gonna be using that attack every once in a while. Nothing wrong with that. Maybe we upgrade it. We'll see how many mastery points we get. We can't just shoot the front guy. We can grape shot him for three to five. It's not too much. Let's just take this guy out. Everybody else can focus the front. The occultist, of course, not included in that. But we can mark the dude. Alright, he's comboed. He's weak. This does more damage to a comboed. Nine up from six, so I'm happy about that. And you can do a little bit of damage here. Well, the burn should kill him. That's the good news. Okay. 
All right, okay. We've got to unlock some more stuff for the Helion. And the cultists we need to unlock. We need to unlock his uh, his comet blast ability. So that'll be fun when we are able to do that. So if we see Hero Shrine, maybe we'll actually use it this time. All right, we've got some trinkets and baubles and relics for hitting the inn. That's the good news. All right, the torch and crown. What's our available routes? The shroud and the sprawl. We have the runaway who inflicts fire, so the sprawl is never going to be good for her. If we do that, we do that, but if we visit an oasis, we'll get 20% damage trinket. The shroud, I say we give it a shot. The Wainwright, we can attach uh, plus 15% fetter damage. We're not going to the fetter just yet, but maybe we will in the future. Two good things here. We could upgrade pistol shot for more damage and likely err to crit. That hits the back two or three enemies, so that way maybe we should upgrade something that hits the front enemies now because uh, just to cover every enemy area. Now, Yop makes the target hit for less, but we can lose our Winded if we upgrade this. And it does a little bit more damage. I'm going to I'm gonna pick this as a strategical approach. It's not normally one I would upgrade, so let's see if it works out or if it's terrible. Let's bring the pet. Haven't done this chapter, so let's take the torch just to see how far we can get. Um, I remember we saw the, the icons for the bosses, right? So this one's either a hand or an eye. I forget which was in which order, but that could mean anything because the brain is actually locks. So who really knows anything? I don't know. Could be a giant leopard in a baseball uniform for all I know. Okay. Good feelings. Sounds good. Good feelings. Oh, I learned you can uh, mouse over the feeling tab for certain things. Yeah, you can mouse. Okay, so there's a 0% chance of everything, minus 5%, 10%. So that way, when you're 13 out of 20, it's only like a 5% chance to be hateful. So if you get that, you're extra lucky and unlucky. Okay, so should have not closed that just yet because I'm about to use some of this. Or do we hold on to it? We have, we have Let's hold on to it, right? Because we can't get relationships after the first end. Let's not end just yet. Let's press on. And what do we want to do? We want to visit an oasis. Should be pretty simple. And uh, we'll try to make some positive relationships after this first... Well, I guess the second end. After the shroud, of course. Nice little area. You look a little haggard. That's okay. She's alright. She's doing good. What's her name again? I forget. We got Boudica... Alice Red, Dismas, and is it Bonnie? It's something like that. I know we just saw it in the battle. It is. It is Bonnie. Okay. Where's the? Oh, the wastes is on the left immediately, and the hospital's immediate as well. So that's useless because nobody's stressed or evil or anything. There's a shrine. Can we make it there from the oasis? We can, one way or another. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, I guess the the, the field hospital could cure a malady or something like that. Well, give me one sec. Okay, sorry about that. Somebody was calling me about a muffin. Anyway, we're going to upset some people here, but... You know, what are you going to do? Sometimes in life, you can't please everybody. Alright. Well, we got loathing immediately, so that's upsetting. That's... Going to bode well for us, I am sure. Uh, but hopefully we use our abilities at the inn and on the road to... Engender some good feelings between everybody and use those to carry us to safety. Um, the, one of the main reasons I switched off Paracelsus from the random thing in the beginning, by the way, was because she had three negative traits, three negative quirks, three blues there. So I was like, you know what, that's a lot. And they were all, like, social stuff. It was like Talker and Neat Freak and some other stuff. One or two of those, that's fine. All three of them are kind of crazy. Anyway, what do we got here? Plague Gator, maybe that. If HP, you're slow. Cadaver could get stressed. We're gonna fight some cadavers every once in a while just because they show up often. This guy doesn't like books. All right, let's get rid of this. Try to make something worthwhile. And I forgot to attach the flame. Well, that's fine. All right, you got anything? You got any laudanum? All right, we got some laudanum here. That's the good news. Alright, let's throw that here. I don't have any trinkets for anybody. 
I guess I didn't, yeah, I didn't attach our puppy either. My bad. I was wrapped up in who knows what. Okay. Now, if we want to do the quest, we want to hit the oasis. Luckily, two people want to do that. I would have loved the shrine, but we'll get one later instead of two, at least. One's better than zero. Hey, more loathing. That's great. That's just what I wanted to tack onto this ride. Might play for the meta progression on this one because, uh, well, we don't have our light or our puppy, and we're getting loathinged as soon as we enter. So I don't know what our choices or chances are against uh, any boss with more than six HP. All right, what's this? Uh, some supplies? Are you, I mean, you're already too stressed, Bonnie. I don't really like that, but maybe actually we don't have a natural de-stressor, do we? Hmm. That's gonna be fun. All right. At least those two are having a great time. Ten out of twenty. Pretty good relationship. All right. Didn't get the oasis water, but that's all right. And what's everybody's path, by the way? Layer boss in the shroud. We can incur three times in a single fight. Two cadavers. Well, we're in the shroud. While there is still time. I forget what the lair boss does in this one, I'll be honest, or who it is. But let's go to the lair because it leads to the next shrine. And at the very least, we're going to have a, a jaunt through the first, maybe second, or third level of the lair. It really depends. Um, I have to refamiliarize myself. I know the, the Tangle Lair Boss. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of loathing. I know the Tangle Lair Boss does some tangly vine thing. I forget what you got to do for that. But it helps if you can hit two positions, I think. The Librarian, we know. The Harvest Child, he's our favorite. What's the other place? Fetter, the Shroud, the Tangle. I don't know. Any children? There's no children here. Two people are stealth. We could clear that stealth, or we could just attack them this second, or we could try to kill this guy first. We're well on our way. Oh, they all go next. That's scary. Luckily, that guy missed. Alright. Big fan of missing. We're blocking. That's good, too. I've been told. Alright, sucker punch. Not what I wanted to see, I'll be honest. Alright, judiciously. Alright. You kill that man back there. And eight damage over there. Ar Abyssal Artillery. Can you get a better ability? I don't think so. It's really good. Uh, we're going to try, try uh, this. Six. It's not too shabby. It's not the most. Also heard it's not the least. Now you could hurt the third position. This. It would probably... No. It would unprobably kill him, but possibly. It would possibly kill him. I guess would be the full sentence there. Let's work on this guy, and then we'll burn him a bit, potentially. He is made of water, so he did resist that. Actually, it makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Six damage there. This will do it. Just kidding. Of course, Dismiss, though, can grape shot and kill that second dude. Alright, lots of bleeding. Much blood. Big sad. Crit. Next time. Maybe next time. Alright, we still had our block up, so we saved an entire damage. That's the good news. And Dismiss is getting stressed out. So he's got a... Oh, you got stealth, huh? What if we remove that? You jerk. Alright, Dismiss, take advantage of this guy. That's not the sentence I meant to say, but you know what I meant, I hope. Alright. Not too bad. Only two of our units lost half their health. Uh, let's... Let's advance. I don't know if we're going to fight the boss, but, you know. Oh boy, that's one large man. And we got a flenzer in back. Scary stuff. A grape shot just hits him, so that's upsetting. we got to take care of the flenzer before she starts flensing. Minimum damage on that is upsetting. For several reasons. I don't want to go into it. And I think that's okay. Alright, we can mark and blind somebody. We could mark and blind the big guy, because if he can't hit us, that'd be cool. Alright, little Abyssal Artillery action, double crit. It was hopeful, it was hopeful. Good news though, we have Iron Swan, and we never got flensed, not even once. Alright, we blocked one damage there, so that's fantastic. And he's gonna miss, never mind. He, he hit us greatly, sadly. Okay, we're gonna stun this guy, potentially. He resisted it, because why not? And then your stealth? That sucks, you're going to die anyway. 
it was a 50% chance he died, and I confidently stated he would, and then he did. Coincidence? I think not. Alright, let's build... Oh, never mind. I was going to say let's build some burn up on him. Didn't really work out. Wow, he hits hard. You know what? Big enemy hits hard. More at 11. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Maybe we... What are you at? We need another 33 damage. I think we need to yawp him down. Give him a little weakness. Put him in his place. Just a tad. You're on fire, pal. Literally. You should see somebody about that. Alright, little uh, shot here. Does 10. Never mind, it's 6 damage. Because it just had to be just above the minimum. That's fine. Uh, we can heal you. First of your row. Take that and enjoy it. Yep, you're welcome. Alright. Four and a flame. Always good. Cure yourself of stress. Everything's uh, going badly. Alright, let's cure ourselves of our windedness. That's the good news. And we're going to taunt. We have low HP, so I'm not sure why we did that. Maybe we're banking on another heal from Alice Red. Ten damage. Pretty good. That's, that's at the top of the damage range, in my opinion. So that's pretty dang good. He's on fire. He's probably going to hurt himself. 75% chance to die. This is going to heal for 14. Minus 11. But, you know, um, I don't want to talk about it. Alright, this is going to heal for 11. There we go. 14 total. Plus, we engendered a good feeling, so I'm really happy about that. And then he died. Okay. Not too bad. The beck and call. Tell. We... Hmm. We do have some people that would deal bleed damage if we let them. Okay, if it bleeds, deals more bleed. Interesting. This is more uh, bleed versus piercing, so it's just more bleed, more bleed. Like we got ten trinkets that'll trigger more bleed. If bleeding, you make an extra action for God's sake. I think we're gonna die. And I'm sorry to do it so early in the run. Seventeen minutes in, maybe not that early. But let me refamiliarize myself with this. Oh yeah, he eats people, right? I know we got blinded, but he can't have that much health, right? He's only... Okay, 155 is kind of high. Um, so he's in the first two, and then he eats people? I forget. Should we try to make ourselves crit? You're not blinded, so the remove blind doesn't really matter there. We could mark him, which leads to extra... What's your burn resist? 30%. It leads to extra burn. If we shoot him, he might get stunned, except for the fact that he's got 200% stun resist, so he's not getting stunned. What else do combos do for you people? Oh, you, you deal 50% more damage, uh, Boudica. That's the good news. But what's 50% of her or 100% of this? Eight. We're going to have a problem here. Um, okay. Make him take more damage or mark him and he does less damage. Dealing less damage we, means we survive even longer, right? Let's give it a shot. Please don't eat Boudica. I've got big plans for her. Please. Okay. Call the deep leviathan's baleful gaze rests upon you. So one of... He eats people, right? Am I crazy? I don't remember. Let's give it a shot. Uh, this is going to hit for a big number. 11? You know, it's not... It's not the worst number in the world. It's certainly not the lowest. We could heal Boudica, even though the baleful gaze rests upon her. So I'm not sure what that means. I literally forget. We could blind the guy. What's your blind resist? Debuff resist forty percent. Okay, we we'll combo him as well, even though we're not going to stun him. So maybe we don't do that. You're not stealthed. Sorry, I got to refamiliarize myself with a few things. Or we'll hit you for a tiny bit and maybe burn you. I mean, the burn can really. Never mind. She was blinded. It didn't matter. Okay. There's the hand. Right. So the hand has twenty-four HP. The hand grabs you. Great. So we got to take that hand out. A lot of people would agree. A little 10 damage. 9. Hey, not too shabby. Using our entire... That's disgusting. Using our entire turns just to kill the hand. That won't end badly, I'm sure. Oh, he's in front, in case you were curious. Alright, artillery only hits you. If we hit you with this, that means somebody will hit you harder next time. So we got to go for your biggest... Damage number, which is of course three, but it, it will do five to nine and maybe burn you. 
and it does five, the minimum. But it did it did trigger the burn. That's the good news. That's the good news. All right, we got to do something with Dismas. Right, the good news is um, to ten. We could kill this guy, and we did exactly. So that's the good news. We got Boudica back. She's very stressed, which I totally get, and we should heal her because she was just underwater for a while. All right, don't don't be. Uh, that's a lot of damage. All right, turns out. Not sure why I came here. That's okay. All right, you do this. Heal that man for nine. That's pretty good. And the good news is, if we weird construct and it bleeds somebody, then Bonnie can follow up and heal him and remove the bleed. Right? Two blinds, two vulnerables. I'm really overall upset with that. Let's remove the blind. And crit next turn. You know what? And we might just crit your hand, because you're a jerk. You know? I'm not I'm trying to be mean, it's just the truth. Alright, weird reconstruct we could do, but also we could just... Make him take more damage. He resisted it, though, so I wouldn't really worry about that status effect. He, she's blinded, but what are you going to do? You know? Eyes of the Storm. Now, you guys have uh, Call of the Deep. Almost everybody has Call of the Deep. Call that not good. Let's deal 12 damage. 11's pretty close. You know, he's almost one third of his life down, and we're struggling the entire time. I'm glad we came here, though. I had to re-familiarize myself with the guy. He moves. That's not... That's not good. Alright, Dismas here will kill you one shot. Not really, though. But down to 9 HP that quickly? That's pretty good. Bonnie, I need you to hit for 6... And actually, I need you to hit for seven, which is impossible. So, uh, please? Minimum damage. Good job, Bonnie. Two thumbs up. Alright, batter. This guy's playing baseball. Title surge. We got two people on death's door. That's true. That is something that happened. I mean, you keep her alive, and then she'll keep. You alive, Alice Red, right? Because she'll use her uh, fiery goodness if she's even alive. How's this guy doing? He's got... Okay, well, sh you're going to die to the burn, which is beautiful. Because you're going to get shot. Nine damage. It's a big number. Some countries you can't heal from in front. Luckily, you're in front. So, really, that's... Can't think of a better thing. If we do this, you'll heal, but you'll get stressed. Let's see here. Smoke screen. Certainly a... I mean, if he was blinded, it'd be really cool. I think we can all agree. Alright, he's blinded. That's really cool. He's dead. Boudica's back. Everybody, Boudica's back. Oh, she got hurt. That's bad. Alright, so much for the blind. Let's just hit everybody and crit for 16. Oh, little resolution. New Year's resolution for Boudica. Everybody gets healed. Everybody gets friendly. Well, only she got healed, but everybody got friendly. That's pretty cool. Um, this guy's just keeping people off death's door, for God's sake. So, let's actually... That's good. 11. That's positive. I like that. By the way, your entire team is blind, weak, vulnerable, and dead. Thank you. I remember this guy. Now, I, there was a reason he was out of my mind, and I remember the other bosses. He sucks. This is quite the, uh... That's the end of the sentence. This is quite the... All right. We hit him, that's the good news. Uh, we do have Vulnerable. We will... Uh, you got you got burned for four, that's pretty good. Plus nine, that's 13 damage overall. So this he's Sooner or later, we're going to have this guy dead. Uh, it's a shame Alizred won't be there for it. Alright, we burned off a, a weakness, but we still have one. So that's, that's the good news, I guess. Alright, the hand is back. So let's see what that does. Believe it or not, it's going to... Grab Boudica. That's a surprise. Hmm. That's a change of pace. I guess we gotta get her back, right? Eight damage. It's a, it's a large number. Death's door. It's a travesty that we're dealing with that. We might lose nobody here. Okay, that's the good news. Alright, we gotta get Boudica back. We burned the hand, somehow. That's the good news. And, uh... 
This guy do be looking at Bonnie, though. So we gotta watch out for that. A little crit here. Never mind. We burned off one weakness, though. We only have one more left to deal with. Bye, Bonnie. Thanks for everything. Alright, Dismas will solo this entire fight. I promise. If he ever gets a turn. Which I don't think he might. Oh, here. He's up next. He's he's good. Never mind. But yeah, he's good. He's good. Nice miss. Genius. Am I right? Alright, Boudicca's back in town. Everybody watch out. She lost all her health. That's the good news, I guess. I'm not really sure. <laughs> and... Okay. Can I have a... Oh, okay. That was a weird lag. Nothing happened. Okay, Dismas will no longer solo this fight for a few reasons. Boudica, don't bleed, okay? I don't need you to bleed to death. If this guy brings his hand out, you know we are going to iron swan him. Alright, so don't fight the Shroud boss ever is my new rule, that I think is my old rule. Uh, but we're going to reinstate that. Other Librarian, doable. Harvest Child, doable. Tangle, I think it's doable, but i got to remember exactly how the vining works. And what's the other place? Fetter, Tangle, Sprawl. That's it, right? Because you don't... That's the three main four places. Why did I say three main four? That doesn't make sense. But anyway... Uh, t ten more up? We don't have ten more. Uh, five more up? We don't have five. Okay. I don't want to recollect anything about that. What does this do? Oh, that's skins for heroes or something ridiculous. Memory. Is the heart Memory. Nobody made it out alive. Alright. That team deserves another replay. I don't know if they're going to go next, but that team deserves a replay. Jester deserves something as well. Sorry about that. Chapter three. We're going to get back to it next time. Bit of a short video, but life's short. You got to do what you can. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have a great strategy for the Shroud Lair boss, let me know. And if not, hope you're enjoying the videos. Sorry, this one won't continue. But next time, we'll have a great team, and we're going to go the distance. Have a great day. Leave a like, leave a dislike, subscribe, and see you next time.